So guys, I normally don't do these type of videos that have to do with YouTube back in a logarithm, statistics, and stuff like that. Um, but I found a really interesting finding. So I've always heard, as long as I've done YouTube videos and been on YouTube, that dislikes don't really matter much. Dislikes are engagement, so they should help as much as the likes. Some people I've heard this from. Some people have also said that likes and dislikes don't even matter, like they don't do anything. Clearly, they have to if people are always asking for likes. I've always just thought likes were a positive thing. Um, you know, they're good. I haven't seen definite proof how they increase the video's performance. Personally, for me, I know that watch time is the biggest thing. Like, if your videos have really good watch time, if people watch the majority of your video, that's how you're ranked pretty well. If I can get my videos where people watch at least like 40% of them, I'm usually gonna do pretty well. However, I have had three different occasions where dislikes have negatively affected my videos. And not just like over time, it's been almost immediately noticeable. And I haven't really like had proof of this um, until this third video. Um, usually what happens when I upload a controversial video, my subscribers will like it and the first initial viewers will like it, some will dislike it, but as my video gets fed like via recommended because the video is doing well, the watch time is good, um, but the topic itself is controversial and warrants people disliking it, this video isn't on that topic, um, but what happens my views slowly increase and more people that watch it aren't familiar with me so they're more likely to disagree with me in my opinions versus my subscribers that, which I love you guys, will just like my videos as soon as they go up no matter what. So as my videos see more and more people, more and more people are more willing to dislike the video if the topic warrants it. And my last video where I mentioned everything wrong with the Galaxy S8. Now the topic or the title of the video, I can see where people are coming from. They say that I'm making the phone sound horrible, but in honesty, the video is about everything I hate about the Galaxy S8. If you watch it all the way through, you can see that it's not really that big a deal. The phone I still love. However, the topic of the video, just talking negatively about a product that a lot of people like, just warrants dislikes. Here is where the proof comes along. So I upload the video and it's getting like 80 views an hour, which is pretty good. Um, and then it spikes up to like two to 300. At this point, my likes and dislikes are okay for the video. Like my likes are higher than the dislikes and I keep screenshotting um, them over the next few days. Cause I'm just very curious when the likes and the dislikes equal and when the dislikes finally exceed the likes, that's when I've noticed my videos just drop. So I have like almost like immediate proof on this too. So my um, Galaxy S8 video, I was screenshotting the likes and dislikes. As long as the likes were higher than the dislikes, it was still doing good and recommended, still getting pretty decent views. Literally an hour, like within the hour that my dislikes exceeded my likes on this video, the views went from like 180 to 200 views an hour to like 10 to 20 in an hour, like just like that. It can't be coincidental, like it's crazy how this happened. So a previous video of mine was about the Mavic Pro. Someone flew it very closely to airplanes. It was a very controversial video. Um, the person actually got like arrested, stuff like that. Um, but I just commented on the video myself, like I was stating that I didn't agree with it. Of course, people are going to like my video because they agreed with me, but people are also gonna dislike my video just because they disagree with the thing altogether. Like they don't see the point of me promoting this, so that, that's why they gave me a dislike. And this video itself was doing really good. It was getting all types of views. And like, again, I can't show you um, like proof, like screenshot proof, but generally when the, when the dislikes exceeded the likes, that's when the views literally like were going up, up, up. And it did not slowly go down. It just like went straight down. It quit being recommended. 
like right away. Um, another video of mine has to do with the DJI Spark. I just talked about that it really wasn't worth it to me because you could get the Mavic for not much more money and get so many more features. So again, this video did really well from the start. It, the likes and stuff took off. It began to be recommended to other viewers that don't share the same opinion as me. So the likes went up, but then the dislikes went up faster, exceeded the likes. Once the dislikes got too high, again, it just went from up, up, up to the, just within the hour, like YouTube just cut you off. Like you can just see where the likes or the views stop coming in. And to compare this to some of my other videos, None of my videos are perfect, and a lot of them do get dislikes, um, quite a bit, honestly, but what can you do? But my videos that have been performing well over time, the likes exceed the dislikes no matter what. Like, I don't have a single video that has more dislikes than likes, and it's still doing well to this day. Like, all my evergreen content, like content that still gets views, you know, month after month after month, has more likes than dislikes. So that's pretty interesting in itself just because I've always been told that dislikes don't matter. It's basically people interacting with your video. Anything is good. It shows that people care and you're making you know, good content. But I also see from YouTube's um, standpoint, if a video is getting dislikes too many times, why promote it? But I run into the problem that a lot of my videos are being disliked because people don't share the same opinion as me. I could be making good content, but simply because they don't agree with what I'm saying or they're just like a, uh, a fanboy of another product that competes with it, they'll dislike my video just because. So that's where I struggle. Like As a content creator, I want to make videos that are entertaining, that um, invite people to click the video and watch it, but then also I can't be too one-sided or too, you know, clickbaity that they immediately just dislike it because it's not what they were expecting. Um, so I'm just currently working on that at the moment. Um, sorry this video is totally not what my channel is about, but I thought this was too interesting not to share just because all the info I've ever seen has been totally different from what I've just discovered in these past few months about dislikes versus likes. Let me know in the comment section below, if you're a content creator, have you ever had any videos like do really well and then the moment they start getting disliked or too many dislikes, YouTube just like immediately cuts you off from the recommended. There's one thing where like slowly over time your videos die, but these three situations, my videos have, it's just like a switch, like they just cut you off. All right, guys, have a great day. See you later. Bye.